Hello everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video I will be showing you a little bit about the desktop. Uh, basically a little bit of how to get to things, how to do a few things like connect to the internet and so on. So let's go ahead and begin. We have two bars to work with. On the very top is the managing for applications, the very bottom is managing windows. On the f we'll start with the top one. Let's go on the very left and we have three different menus. The first menu is for applications. Underneath here, when you click on it, we have different categories for applications. Any new applications you install will be organized into these following categories and some might actually make more categories. More applications can be installed from the Ubuntu Software Center for free, uh, virus free, cost free, and they come in any variety, anything from 3D design to graphic design to document editing to alarm clocks, uh, even bank statement stuff, anything that you might possibly need will be available in the Ubuntu Software Center. The next option we have is places. Under places we have the home folder. This will serve as the root of all your files, basically the very beginning of where you will store your files. And here we have documents, downloads, music, templates, and so on. <clears throat> Anything put in the desktop folder will be shown on the desktop back here. And to the left of this area is a little basically bookmarks. The home folder is also denounced by your username, in this case it's just user. Next part is just to go to the desktop. Uh, next is the file system, which is all the system files for your computer. Next is the network. Underneath that is uh, other partitions that might be available, as well as anything that's plugged into your computer, such as USBs or SD cards, as I'll just show you right now. Uh, the first thing is a window will pop up for that SD card and it'll be available in this option here you can eject it with this button here and also available on a desktop and in places over here so you can basically get to your devices very quickly very easily so you don't lose them uh, next is the trash a simple little program uh, basically put any files in here you can drag and drop them or right click right click and move to trash and it'll be in here uh, you can actually recover them just simply by dragging and dropping or you can drag them and drop back just like that and you can empty trash to permanently delete all the files in your trash can underneath that is a set of different places where you can store information uh, your files and sense these are bookmarks to those places such as the user you can see in here we have documents music pictures videos and downloads and we have these as well now you can add more options just like so and they'll be available in here as well and as well as down here for quick access. You can remove them in this manner, just right click and click remove. And that's basically it for all of uh, your file managements. Underneath all of those is again the computer. This is where you'll find all the things plugged into your computer. Uh, network to connect to Windows network or Mac networks or make your own networks. To connect to external server for business or anything that you might be storing files on on the internet searching for files on your computer simply by putting in the keyword such as documents and it'll find all of these documents that are in this folder and at the very end is the recent documents simply anything that you've opened up recently will be under this area you can clear recent documents like so and here is the simple empty space on the bar we can use different things with it right clicking and at a panel we can open a set of uh, basically <coughs> applications or mini applications that you can set up there these are called applets uh, simply dragging and dropping will work you can set the brightness applet in here like so and any other applet that you might like another thing we can do here is simply go into an application that we like right click and add to panel like so you can also do this for the desktop as well like so. Now we have it on the desktop. On the very right we have uh, basically a management for a few system things uh, such as connecting to a network. Basically click on the little icon, go to area 51, that's mine, but go to whatever wireless you have around you and if you haven't already set it up it'll ask you for your password and so on. Just plug it in and you'll be connected to the network. So next to that is the Bluetooth icon if you have Bluetooth enabled you can simply click on that and manage your Bluetooth through all of these options. To the right of that is the volume applet, mute all, change the volume or go to more advanced uh, settings. Next to that is the mail icon. You can set up chat such as AIM, Yahoo, MSN, Facebook and a lot more others. 
Underneath that, you can set up mail such as Google Mail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, and others, and broadcast accounts such as Twitter, uh, Delicious, and so on. Uh, under, under the date, you can see that when you click on it, a little calendar comes up. Double clicking on any of these dates will open up another application that will manage uh, to do lists or any sort of appointments that you might have. Underneath that is a simple location area. Clicking on edit and then going to add, you can add different places around the world simply by typing them in and it'll show up on this map so you can keep track of your friends, family and know uh, what time it is there or when you can call them, when not to call them, when they're sleeping and so on. Next to that is the user which is, this will be your name but this is called the me menu and here you can do things such as managing your account uh, information in here, change your picture here, change your password there you can also set your status for AIM, Yahoo, and MSN, and so on through these little quick shortcuts. Underneath that, you can also set up uh, or check on your chat accounts, broadcast accounts, or your Ubuntu One online storage and uh, music store. To the very, very right of that, we have uh, the shutdown applet, basically shutting down, restarting, suspend, or logging out, or locking the screen. Simple stuff. Now, that concludes the very top, and we'll go to the very bottom. Now the very bottom simply, if you've noticed, you, when you open applications you have these little indicators to show them. When you focus on an application, it will be selected with a dimmer light or with a lighter light. The ones in the background will be with a dimmer light. To make them to focus, simply click on it as so and it will be brought to the very front. You can of course right click close, move to another workspace, uh, make it only visible on all workspaces or always on top so no matter what you're clicking on it'll show that the, that one will be on top Oops. and different little settings here and there on the very left is basically your uh, to a shortcut to show your desktop clicking on this will minimize all your windows for an easy way to get to your desktop and clicking on it again will just put them back up now how you work with workspaces is pretty simple on the very right you have uh, I have two at the moment, you come with uh, four of them, but they all work the same way. Simply you can move it by right clicking, going to move to workspace right, and there it is on the second workspace. You can of course, when you're in this workspace, you can also open different applications, and depending on which workspace you're focused on, that's where it's going to open, like so. And you can just manage different things like internet on this workspace, documents on this workspace, or whatever fits your fancy. And simply put, that's basically it. And the very right is simply the trash icon, another way to get to the trash. You can right click and empty trash for a quick and easy way to clean all your files so you can make space on your computer. A few things to know is simply how to customize your computer. Right, cl right clicking, changing desktop background simply changes a few things such as desktop background. You can change the fonts on your system, visual effects, and the theme of how you're uh, basically <coughs> your windows look like and your whole system looks like icons folder icons buttons and so on so it's an easy way I'll be going through these in a more detailed session later on so that's basically it thank you for watching Ubuntu Lost videos I hope you found this interesting and informative I'll be coming back with more of course and thank you for watching again my name is Chris and I hope you have a good day